In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record penalties on the golf course using your ShotScope X5 golf watch. Personally, I prefer to record any penalties after I've finished using either the mobile app editor or the dashboard editor. I find that a little bit easier, but if you'd prefer to do it whilst you're out on the golf course, here is how. Now, in order to access the main penalties menu, you need to make sure that when you're out on the golf course, you're using the watch in GPS and track mode. If you're not, then you won't be able to make use of penalties because you're not recording any strokes. To access the penalty menu, all you want to do is either swipe along the screen or press the crown several times until you can see the game menu. We're gonna tap on enter here, and then what we're gonna do is scroll down until we get to penalty. If we press the crown in here, you'll see there are several different penalty options. So we have penalty one for a one stroke penalty, penalty two for a two stroke penalty, provisional penalty, lost ball penalty, and drop ball penalty. The first penalty option we're going to look at is the lost ball penalty option. This should be used when you've lost your ball or hit a ball out of bounds. And basically it will automatically add a penalty stroke to your performance data for the hole you are playing. The watch will know when you're about to play another shot from the same location. So basically, as soon as you've hit your shot, if it's lost or you can't find your ball, you're going to want to go in and use this option before you hit your next shot. In order to access it, we're going to go into the game menu. So we'll press the crown a couple of times. Then we'll go down to enter here. We're gonna scroll down and then we're going to look for penalty. And then all we're gonna do is to press the crown in when we're on the lost ball penalty before we hit our next shot, having just lost our ball, and that will record that one as a lost ball. The next penalty option we're going to look at is the drop option. Now the drop option should be used when you've taken a penalty drop, and you should record this at the location where you decide to take the drop, rather than the location of the next shot. This will automatically add a penalty shot to your score, and it'll tell the watch that the next shot hit isn't where the last shot ended, but in fact where you're hitting your next shot from. For example, this option can be used after you've hit a ball into a water hazard, or if you have found that your ball is in an unplayable lie. To get into this one, we're going to go into the game menu again, so we'll press the crown several times, we'll then tap on enter, we're then going to go down to penalty, press that one in, and then we're going to go down to drop ball. As I said, just make sure you use this before you hit your next shot. Press and drop ball, and that will record that as a penalty stroke for a dropped ball. The next penalty we're going to look at is the provisional penalty. Now this option should be used if you're playing a provisional ball from any location out on the golf course. You want to make sure that you do this before you hit your provisional ball. So for example, if I've hit my tee shot where I think it might be lost, before I hit my next shot from the tee, I'm going to go into the game menu again using the crown at the top right, tap on enter, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to penalty, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to provisional. I'll press the crown in, and then what I'll do is I'll hit my provisional shot. I'll then walk to the location where I think I have lost my first ball, and at this point here, if I know I have definitely lost it, then what I'll do is I'll scroll up, press the crown in, and mark it as lost. I'll then go and play my provisional ball, which will essentially be my fourth stroke. However, if I've got to location and I've managed to find my golf ball, then what I can do is instead, I can mark it as found by pressing the crown in, and then I'll essentially be playing my second shot from this location. However, if I am wanting to look for the golf ball, and I've got three minutes to do so, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to start timer, and I'm going to press the crown in, and then it will now count down from three minutes to zero seconds and allow me to look for my golf ball. After looking for three minutes, if I have still not found my golf ball, I can simply mark it as lost and it will apply a penalty stroke and I'll essentially be hitting my provisional ball at this point. However, if I manage to find it, then I can mark it as found and as before, I'll be playing my second shot. So let's just mark this one as found and then you'll see it takes me back to the standard yardage screen here. 
The final two options you'll find on the X5 are the one and two stroke penalty options. And these are basically used for penalties such as being late for your tea time, or if you have incurred a one or two stroke penalty for a wide range of reasons. All you need to do here is basically go to the crown, press it several times, and then tap on enter to go into the game menu. We're gonna scroll down and then we're going to go to penalty. From here, you'll see if I scroll up, we have penalty one and penalty two. So one stroke penalty is penalty one. To apply a two stroke penalty, it is penalty two. At the point when you are going to be assessed your penalty, all you want to do is press the crown in with one of these selected, and that will then apply, in this example, a two stroke penalty to my round. Hopefully you have found this quick tutorial to be useful and it'll give you a bit more confidence applying penalty strokes using the ShotScope X5 out on the golf course. But if you're looking to take your X5 usage to the next level and use it as efficiently as possible, I have this handy 10 top tips video for the ShotScope X5 that you might want to check out.